everybody, I am Moly West, and this is Minecraft. I know everybody on YouTube's playing this all again all of a sudden, and I don't care about that. I've been playing it a lot on my own, and I felt like doing a video on it. And I also need another video to get through to my next day off from work, so there's that. And now, I'm, like I said, I've already got a nice little world called Oldies Fun Dungeon. <laughs> It is the greatest world you will ever see. I guarantee it. Ah, it is good to be home. Got myself a nice little house. Crafting table, chests, smithing table, which I don't actually think does anything. I put that there because I thought it would do things. And then there's this thing, the fletching table, which also doesn't do anything as far as I know. What is the point of having these things if they don't do anything? Anywho, this is my little fortress. I got a wheat farm over here, sugar canes behind the house. You can see my nether portal up on that hill. Here's my potatoes, potatoes. Got myself a nice high wall around my place, surrounded by lava. Ain't nobody getting in here without my say-so. Broke my ankles, but I don't care. I got a nice functional little bridge for getting out of here. And banners. Gotta be banners that have fanciness going on. And I actually think there's nobody left alive in this village over here. I did notice that they've made villages a lot more common in some more recent updates. And I came over here once, and there was nobody here. The golem that patrolled the streets was gone. There were no villagers except for two people that were just trapped in a little fenced-in area somewhere around here. I don't remember where that is. And so I took them back to my fortress, accidentally killed one of them, and I will show you something in just a moment. Here we are, back at home, back in the fortress. And there we have the last remaining villager. And his name is Herg Durgerson. That is the name I give him. It is the name he shall keep for all eternity. Do you like living here, Herc Durgerson? You should, because you're the only guy left. And no, I didn't slaughter the villagers. I assume they were all killed by monsters. I just went over there once and they were all gone. And I tried to bring one of them back, but I ended up pushing him in such a way that he inside of a minecart and he got his head stuck in a block and he died in there. I corrected that mistake for bringing Herc Durgerson here. And now that I think about it, there's a little something I need to do for him. There we go. Do not feed Herc Durkerson. Now everyone knows not to give you any food because then you will become over-dependent on it. Isn't that right, Herc Durkerson? <laughs> you go ahead and have fun in there where you will be spending the rest of your life and don't you dare try to leave, I will not allow it! This is for your own safety. In here, you are safe from the monsters. And this is the place that puts all the fun in Moldy's Fun Dungeon. I was actually thinking about going out and finding other villages so that I could persuade the other villagers to come here and visit and never leave. Bring Herg Durgerson a nice little friend who he will not have any choice. I'm going to kidnap people. And it was also such a huge pain in the ass bringing Herc Durgers in here. I had to, like, take all the rails I had and, like, just lay down a track. And But I didn't have enough to make it back from the village to my fortress. And so I had to pick up the rails after I pushed them along there and then just lay them back down. And it was a big pain in the ass. Where would I find the next nearest village? I assume it would be this way. Or possibly over the, in the savanna, or in the desert, or over the mountains. That village is like on the border between four different biomes. It's a very weird place, and I'm not sure if nature works that way. Maybe it does. I know very little of the world beyond these walls. I'd never leave home because the outside world sucks! There's lots of people that'll do nasty things and other mean stuff. Stuff, and the world just sucks. Reality sucks. 
Work sucks. Being an adult sucks. I don't want to have to work. I just want to stay home and play Minecraft all day. But I gotta go earn money so I can buy food for myself and people around me. Oh, I do not like the world of being an adult. It sucks. Adulthood sucks. That is the lesson you must take from this episode if you take any lesson. I see a wolf! Little wolf wolf. I don't have any bones or meat to give you. Yeah, yeah, I do not have that stuff. Only got my sword, my shield, and my armor. And I got myself a nice skin that looks like Geralt from The Witcher. If I kill you and bring your flesh to that wolf, will the wolf then be my friend? Or do I have to give him a bone? I know dogs like bones, but they also like meat. Now where is little Woof Woof? I have pig flesh for the wolf. There you are. Yeah, I see you with your tilted head. Where do you think you are going? Stop running away from me. I have food. I got dead pig meat. There. You take this dead pig meat and you ain't, you ain't following me. I have to give you a bone now, don't I? Well, ain't that a kick in the dick? I think I may have gone the wrong way. This is why I never venture away from home in this game. I don't recall seeing any pumpkins before, but I'll take them. Give it all that pumpkinness, all that pumpkiny goodness. That is what I require. Now, which way was home? Birch forest, open field. I think my ankles are broken and shoved up into my neck. And I also think I might need to go this way. This is the way I go to get home, I think. Please tell me I'm right. I do not want to live in a world in which I am wrong. Okay, those trees look different. I do believe I'm going in the wrong direction. I don't recall seeing any trees with vines near my home. I have no sense of direction. I get lost way too easily, and I need to get out more. That is the lesson I am taking away from this. I know I could just push F3 to pull up the coordinates, but I don't remember the coordinates of my house. I need to remember to make note of that. Home coordinates must be marked in my face so that I know which way to go and which coordinates is the where now, because I don't know where I am. I just do this and all this means absolutely nothing to me, except for things and stuff and I just do not know. Now where in the flying fick did I come from? This is why I hate the outside world. This is why I hate leaving home. I get lost too easily. I want my mommy. I want my lawyer. And I want my lawyer's mommy. There are horses here. I do recall seeing some horses around my home. But this ain't the horses that I have seen before. Well, at least I didn't bring anything that I can't easily replace. That way, if I die, which I most likely will, because I don't remember where my home is and I probably won't make it through the night, I won't have to go through all the trouble of mining more diamonds. I got plenty of iron at home so I can just remake my armor and sword and other shit. But I'd prefer to keep this stuff. And I am just going even further in the wrong direction, aren't I? This is what I get for not going out and getting a lay of the land on my own time. Which way is my house? If I can just reach the top of this mountain or hill or whatever it is, I'll have a good view of the land now, won't I? Yeah, I do. And I can see clearly that this is not the place I want to go to when I see shining light out in the distance in that desert. Probably lava, which I do not need. 
I've gotten all the lava I need for now. I could stand to get some more and make the entire moat around my fortress a bunch of source blocks that would look nice, but the thing I got now suits my needs just fine. Now if only I could figure out where in the hell my house is. Oh god, I see skeletons and zombies. I do not want to deal with your undead bullshit. I just want to go home. Hey, there it is. I see my fortress. Yay! I knew I was close by. I just didn't know how close by I was. Excellent. And I also built this bridge here because that thing marks a big hole in the ground where I came out of and went down to get all the lava to fill my moat. I do say that was worth the trip. Going deep down under the ground and pulling all that liquid rock out of stone and the holes and the shit to fill in the space around my base. That is indeed correct. And you undead sons of bitches ain't ever gonna get in here. You can't get me, you can try. Come on, you bastard, you know you want some of this. You know you want a piece of my ass. I just have to not step in the lava, just like you do right now. Hey, get back out there. You're not allowed in here. That's right, you sons of bitches. You ain't getting nothing. And he just got pushed down into the lava. Ha! Friendly fire. Doesn't feel good now, does it? Oh, look, there's a bridge. Not anymore. Ha! -ha assholes. That's right, you ain't allowed in here. Herg Durgerson seems to be having fun jumping on the bed. You enjoy yourself. You have no other choice, Mr. Herg Durgerson. Let's go up on the roof, see if anything is up here. Get a nice look out. A nice view of my farm and my walls. Ain't nobody built walls better than me. And there ain't much over there. I checked, except I didn't, and I just lied to you, and I don't know why. Well, sleepy time. And please excuse the sound of my mouse clicking if you can hear it. There are not many games that I actually play with mouse and keyboard. Most of the time I use a controller. I grew up with consoles, using controllers and such. But for whatever reason, Minecraft is the one game that I can't bring myself to use a controller on. It just has to be mouse and keyboard, and I'm gonna go to hell now. Still gotta find one of them fortresses. I see you coming after me, except you're not evil because it ain't night. Get out of here, you fucking arachnid. Nobody likes you. Gateway to hell. Take me to the bad place. I did come in here before, as you can see by all my torches. I just, I was looking around trying to find a way to find a, one of them nether fortresses. One of them big old castles because I need blaze rods and I do not need to go down there. Or maybe I do. But anyway, I think I was trying to dig my way somewhere and then my pickaxe broke. Yeah, I think actually it was up this way. Or maybe it was the other way. Might have been the other way. Over this way. Yeah, I can see that cobblestone bridge I set up so that I wouldn't fall. Yeah, now it's coming back to me. This is where I need to go now, isn't it? Ow, my ankles. Yeah, here we go. There's that tunnel I was digging. And right when my pig axe broke. Well, time for more tunneling. I will reach the other side of this wall eventually, and when I do, there might just be a nether fortress. Or other nasty things that I don't want to deal with. Isn't that right, Mr. Torch? Yes, your glowing fire speaks well. It tells me all the things I need to know deep down in my soul. Hey, I found a bit of nether quartz. How dare you block my way forward, you stupid quartz! Oh god, please forgive my gas. Perhaps by the time I reach the end of this, I'll have enough netherrack to build a big-ass city out of all of it. 
probably not gonna do that. But it would be nice. Nice. Okay, hole in the floor. But as I was saying, nice netherrack city. That sounds like fun, now doesn't it? And let me just get... Okay, here we are. Back up where I fell. And are you gonna just drop me down into that hole again? You better not, because I don't like falling in holes and breaking my ankles. Oh no, my pickaxe broke. I didn't bring an extra one. Shit! Well, that's what I get for not bringing a spare. And get me sword out, just in case. Never know when there's going to be somebody trying to murder me, and then I will need to defend myself. In a very medieval fashion. <laughs> this is perhaps the worst location I've ever had right here in hell. There's like nowhere to go, I'm just in this cave trying to find, like, tunnel my way through the walls and find a way that gets me out of here. But nope, ain't none of that, not in this one. Except maybe down that way. Yeah, that seems possible. So perhaps the next time I come in here, rather than trying to tunnel my way through a wall that probably doesn't even have an end, I might just make my way down there and put a ladder in or something. That seems like a good thing to do now, doesn't it? Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Sheep? That's right, you better agree with me or else I'll use my shield and push you off the mountain and except I can't push it with my shield because I don't know why, but I just want to push a sheep. That's right, sheepy sheep, you getting down off the mountain. See, there's desert over there. Wait. Is that the same desert that I pulled all that sand from to make the windows to my house? Probably. Or is it that desert? There is two deserts here. Two separate deserts. Oh wait, no, I see, they're connected. It's one desert, just a weird shape. Weird shaped desert. No entry for people who aren't me. I get my own entry. Because it is my house. This is my fortress, and I didn't have anything in my smelter, furnace, whatever you want to call it. And I don't need to be carrying all this hellstone around. That's just taking up space, isn't it? Precious space I have in my inventory, all taken up with all this nonsense. And nether quartz. And my empty buckets. I do, however, want to find another village, but the sun is going down. If I can find another village, I'll build like a monorail station or something, connecting this place to that place. And while I'm here, I need to make note of the coordinates. So which coordinates do I need to pay attention to? I don't know. Probably the X and Z. The sun sets on another beautiful day in my home, in the lovely in the lovely world of Moldy's Fun Dungeon. When dawn breaks, I shall venture out in search of a new village, and apparently I can't sleep yet because it is at night time. There it is! Oh, I remember this hole. A creeper made this hole, and then I decided to just dump some water into it. Don't know why I did that. And here's another creeper hole that I built a little bridge across so I could push the minecart over it. That's right. Good times I shared with my pal Herg Durgerson, who now sits in Moldy's Fun Dungeon, the funnest place in all the dungeon, just waiting for my return so that he can sit there and have fun in the fun dungeon. Hey, a cat. Kitty, 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 kitty. What you doing out here in the desert all by yourself, you little desert kitty? Meow, meow, meow. Anywho, let's go see if I can't find me a desert village. What is that thing I see up there on that dune? Is that just a cactus? It looks like it might be something else, though. Oh, look, another savanna divided by the desert. 
And lava. Had I known this lava was out here, I'd have come and got that to put in my moat. That would have made things easier now, wouldn't it? And I'm starting to think that thing I see is just a cactus sitting on top of a raised block of sand. Because it is weird. Very much weirdness up in this weird hole we call home. And I ain't digging with my sword. I learned that lesson. I dig with the... I did not want to put that down there. God damn me and my right-clicking habits. Now who's laughing, Stone? Not you, that's for damn sure. Yeah, it's just a cactus on the one block of raised sand. How dare you get my hopes up! Making me think I found something evil. Evil little cactus! I will not allow this to stand. Now, where would I find me a... Oh, I see a thing. I do want to find a village. I don't think that is village, but it looks like a thing. Like a structure out in the desert sand. Yes, very structural indeed. Is this just a random thing? Or is there actually a thing here buried underneath it? Is this a big-ass ravine? No, it's a big-ass cave. And I didn't bring a shovel with me. No matter, I can dig with my hands. What man, what self-respecting man, I should say, doesn't know how to dig with him hands? Well, shit. I've hit sandstone. That ain't good. Probably should have brought a pickaxe. Anyway, I don't feel like digging under this thing. That's stupid. I will find me a village if it's the last thing I do. And it probably will be. You see, the thing about sand, it's not very stable. If it's all just dangling in the air like that, you put a thing next to it, you knock something down, then it all comes tumbling down. Isn't that right, sand? Yeah, I just buried that cave entrance, and I don't know why I did it. You better not go questioning me, though. Because questions can be a danger to you and a burden to others. Unlike a village that I can't seem to find, I want to find village and bring new person from there to Moldy's Fun Dungeon where they will have all the fun they could ever want. I want me a village, dammit! And by village, I mean more prisoners! Do I see another cactus atop the mountain? Hill? Dune? Whatever it is called? I think I do. Indeed I do. That is a most foul cactus. It cannot be allowed to stand tall over the world. This will not stand. I will not allow it. Be gone, ye foul plant. I see a village. This is most definitely a village. Yeah. Now, where exactly am I? I see. 188, I believe. Okay, what is that? That is a weird-shaped mountain. Very weird-shaped mountain. I'm gonna have to come back here some other time. But now that I've made note of the coordinates of this village, I will have, I will know where to go to know which direction to build my monorail station in. That is a fancy word for my kidnapping trail. The trail I will take to kidnap villagers. Or at least one villagers. And I want this cactus. Potted cactus be mine. Is there anything else in here worth stealing? Ooh, nice block. And a stone cutter. What, what even kind of block is that? How would one make that sort of block? That I would like to figure out. And what exactly is the purpose of a smoker? For some, I built one and I believe it's it only exists as like a fancier looking uh, furnace. Fancier looking furnace. That is what it is now, isn't it? And damn it, let me out the door. There we go. Hello, Goam. I will not do bad things in town because I do not wish to invoke your wrath. 
Oh, little man running through little cactus. How dare you be so unruly? Very well. I now return home. Hey, look, there's a desert temple over there. But I don't feel like dealing with that just yet. I want to get home first. And I actually remember the coordinates for my home this time. Okay, maybe I don't. I may have made a grave error. Did I just find yet another desert village trying to get back to my home? I think I did. Well, let's go say hi to them people and steal everything they own. Wouldn't that be fun? I apparently do not understand how coordinates work. I was looking at the wrong thing. And now night falls. That's just grand. But at least there are more villagers. More people to kidnap, to have fun with. I will take them to my home and use them for my own nefarious purposes. And y'all should probably get inside. It won't be long before the monsters come. And are these buttons? Why do you have buttons on your house? That just looks dumb. Oh, a cartography table. Nice. But I already got one of those myself, so I don't need to steal it from you. What I do need is to find my way home. And I'm going to borrow your bed. I know it resets my spawn point, and that might not have worked out too well for me in the long run. But I will find my way home again. <laughs> Maybe I should make a compass. I did build my home not too far from my spawn point. My original spawn point, I might add. But, and that would help. That would be a great asset to getting me home. Now, let me just figure out which way I need to go. Recover from broken ankles. All well and good. It's all normal in the life of a witcher to jump off mountains and break his bones. But doesn't matter. Witchers recover from wounds very quickly. I For a second I thought that horse was like some kind of weird monster. Some weird animal I haven't ever seen before. But it was just a horse standing on another horse. How dare them horses! We have standards in this world! They may not be high, but we got them. I am a very long way from home. Cannot figure out which way I came from. I think it was this way. I clearly made a big mistake on the coordinate front. So which way do I go now? I may I was looking at the wrong coordinates. That is my mistake. I need to get better at not being dumb. And I think this might be the same mountain that I saw that one cactus sitting on. If that were the case, then that would be easy. That would make life a lot better for me. I keep sprinting, so I'm running out of running out of my food meter, and that's that just doesn't do me any favors. Now does it? Clearly, I made a wrong turn because there was no ocean near my home. Dear God, what have I done? Yeah, this is. Definitely nowhere near my house. I think I'd remember seeing llamas nearby, which I most certainly did not. Welp, it is official. I am horrifically lost. That's just grand. No matter. I can just watch this recording back and get the coordinates for my base that way. Assuming I actually read them correctly next time. That would be nice. Nice indeed, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, I think I am way off. I, I do not know much about the coordinates in this game. I need to get better at that, I need to be less stupid, and I'm gonna end this episode right here because I'm all out of time, so thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you in the next one, bye!